this is Dragonheart and welcome to my Sparta campaign legendary difficulty and we got humiliated in the last episode Macedon defeated us and this is my army with its tail between its legs and we need to find a way to take Clarissa in this campaign so first things first we need to look at our technology marine training don't really need that at the moment I haven't got any fleets uh, battle run speed for land units or ships, don't need ships uh, enemy siege workshop, a workshop would be useful to have, siege equipment perhaps get one or two units of ballista we still have Sparta and Athens, Macedon look like they're bringing the ships up though to attack us and let's check diplomacy quickly we're at war with every nation haven't uh, come across any new nations yet so um, we're still on for that achievement. Athens is still around up there apparently which I find rather odd and apparently <laughs> this is how um, okay I'm confused we've just defeated Athens in battle we've taken Athens for ourselves and they are neutral towards us even though they're about to be wiped out work that one out <laughs> Uh, okay, so Athens up there, they're going to be defeated anyway, they suffer in attrition. And we need to work out the best thing for me to do in this campaign. This army... Commander. I'm going to pull back to Athens. To your duties, we can defend men. from Athens, we can recruit some more units. What have we got? we got some cavalry, we're going to need a unit of cavalry. And um, what else us. do we have available to us? Perioikoi spears. Uh, Spartan Hoplites. We'll go for one of them and one of one of the Perioikoi spears. Try and get a full stack or a near full stack. Athens does have a garrison of eleven infantry. So we got pikemen, Hoplites, Spartan youths, and slingers. Plus we got two ships, so we should be well defended. Hole up there. We need to keep Sparta as well. At the moment, Sparta only has uh, its garrison, and that's it. We can actually recruit another general, which I'm going to need. We we'll go with uh, Cleo, Cleo means. Yeah, we we'll go with him. Old Cleo, how are you doing, Cleo? He'll Set go in there, the and we'll start building the second army. We can't recruit at the moment, but we'll go and try and get a second army from there. Ready for battle. I'm going to disband one of these units because they're mercenary, and there we go. My funds are gone straight up. I got another unit here, but I'll keep them in case I do get attacked this turn. There isn't an awful lot I can do, so I'll end turn. And we will we'll see what happens now in the end turn phase. And I have got some good news as well. Um, I've recently upgraded my graphics card to a uh, GTX 770, 2 gig, and it's running like a dream at the moment. To be honest, uh, this is my first time trying it out in a video. The recording does, of course, bring the frames per second down quite a bit, but it's, I'm still getting a good, solid. Uh, well, between t sort of 30 to 40 frames per second, even with recording, so I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. Commander. And right, here we go, we've got a full strength army now. Here. I need a second army we to be built. I do have quite a bit of funds as well available to me. What can we build? We can build a Temple of Poseidon. That will give us public order and food. Ugh, I don't really want to spend that much money yet. Let's see. Skirmisher camp will give me more of a garrison. My food will of course go down. I think I can go with the skirmisher camp. It's going to take five turns. I could lose Sparta by then, you never know. Um, what to do? I think I'll keep my money for now. Need to build an army, Ready that's the important battle. thing. I'm just going to go all out. Um, look at the recruitment, citizen cavalry, we get a unit of citizen cavalry. Operates, it costs so much money. They have the same upkeep though as pikemen. Get one of each. I'll do to start with. This army can be added to as well. We we'll go with the slingers. I like my slingers in this game. Come, fight with us. Check my diplomacy. At war with everyone again. And we can end turn again. So we're making slow progress in this campaign. Taking my time. I'm enjoying it. And it's been fun so far. And look at Macedon, they have three. They actually have all of Macedon, the province. Apollonia. P 
Heller and uh, I can't remember the name of the third one. Larissa. There we go. It's nice to see the end turn phase go so quickly as well, especially at this stage of the game. I know in late game it goes a lot slower because obviously more of the territory is actually revealed to you. But I think we'll try and get a battle in this part if we can. So we have another turn for my slingers. And we have my second army which is holed up in Sparta at the moment. Uh, what can I do? I can actually get an experience rank with the hop that is there. I'm going to need them. I may as well go with that. Try and get two. What's the name of this? The Defenders of Olympus. I'll do. And the Cyclops Slayers. At your command. At your command. Check diplomacy again. I know I'm a bit OCD at the moment checking the old diplomacy, but you know, it wouldn't be a total this is total war campaign without actually being able to achieve the this is total war achievement or attempted to achieve it. You gotta do it by the letter of the law, and that is every time you meet a new faction, you must declare war on it. So uh and never offer a ceasefire or trade or anything like that. It's just total war all the way through. And I think we could probably be doomed, but I don't like the fact that this is legendary and I'm not getting attacked by anybody at the moment. I've actually been allowed to build up. Right, one of your family members is being blackmailed. Oh, I don't really want to spend that kind of money. Just do nothing. I don't care about Graffitas at the moment. We're miles away from a civil war at the moment, so I'm not going to be too bothered about that. Can worry about that later on when I've actually got loads of provinces. Or if I get loads of provinces, I should say. Right, we got my workshop. Now, with the workshop... Uh, if I can move it... I can't... Where can I get a workshop to? Sparta has been damaged. How is Sparta been damaged? Pay, convert... Can't actually build a workshop at the moment, so that's... Looks like it's a waste. Something with my economy would be nice. What have we got? We can have this growth, and... Yeah, that'll go. That'll be fine. That will be fine indeed. We for this army can be brought up in a turn, I think. Oh, and Athens has actually come here with Macedon to tr attempt to take us out, Ready which they're not going to do, of course. I need a full stack army, so what have we got? We've got Slingers, we've got a Mercenary Peltast. Uh, we've got lots of uh, skirmishers, actually. I need more infantry. Two units Sign of Spartan Hoplites should be enough. I would hope so, and probably end turn again. So I do apologise at the moment, but we are taking our time with this campaign. We are making sure that we meet the requirements for the This Is Total War Steam Achievement, and we are making sure that we, we we've been a bit defensive. I think I'm more of a defensive uh, player as some players. Some players like to be the attacking nation, and go all out. But I'm a bit more defensive. I try to maintain my f my funds. Try to uh, make sure that I'm not leaving myself open. To give myself the best possibilities I can to win. Probably Ready sally up and attack battle. Athens here. Actually, I'll do that. Two I'm going to auto resolve this because there's absolutely no point in fighting this battle. Auto resolve 94 percent. I'll do. Oh, what happened then? Sabotage. That's strange. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, we'll kill the captive. The wave still and Athens is finally destroyed. So there we are. Increase in rank. Bring them back into it Athens. And we actually ranked up my general so we can be a Hoplon. And we can have zeal, authority, or cunning. I'm going to go with authority. This army can be pushed up, which is where we go on the offensive now. Actually, I think we can bring him right into enemy lands. Larissa has a 10. Oh, see, I think I could take him out with this army even. 7. Uh, you know what? Can't quite reach there yet, but I'm going to go offensive at the moment. Here we go. And... Apparently, we can't win this according to the auto assault, but we will fight this battle. So I'll click assault. 
I mean, a lot of this army is militia and slingers, and they've actually got some mob units as well, so I do fancy myself in this battle. Let's we'll see how it plays out. The Gods of War versus the Cyclops Slayers and the Defenders of Olympus. Huzzah! I'll try my best not to lose my cavalry in this battle. <laughs> it's one thing I do tend to neglect. I make sure my slingers are all lined up perfectly, make sure my hoplites and my other infantry are lined up perfectly, and then I, I lose my cavalry on one of my flanks. It's, I think it's a standard Total War player's nightmare. <laughs> Alright, we will do what I just said, and that's line the slingers up. We're actually quite close to the city, aren't we? We're almost in range from here. Uh, probably better to go in this way. Nice and open. Line them up, got them in one group. Line these guys in another group, just behind. Like so. Uh, it won't get them in phalanx straight away. Because I might forget later on. There we go. What have we got left? Take one unit of cavalry on one flank, another on the other flank, and start battle. Where's the enemy? The enemy's up there, by the things. Right, we are going to bring ourselves up to here. This skirmisher cavalry knows not. We would like to have skirmisher cavalry pester the, the enemy. Where are my reinforcements coming from? That's a good question. Oh, they're behind me. There they are, my reinforcements. My second army, which I will bring to the right flank over here to begin with. And I'll set them to walk, not quite running. For the time being. Uh, let's see. Bring my skirmishes forward again. And zoom in. Take see the man. detailing on some of these uh, units. Yeah. There we go, as you can see. Looks a lot better than what it has been. Nice detailing on the horses there. On the shield. I must say I'm very pleased with the graphics card and the outcome. I was testing the uh, frames per second earlier on the the actual Tudorburg Forest uh, benchmarking test right that they have the on the game and yeah, I was, I was very happy with General. um with the outcome. I think it's a good investment. It should set me up perfectly for the next few years of gaming. <laughs> I'd hope. I'm going to attack these uh, hoplite units. What we got down here? We have hoplites. Here they are. Damn hoplite units. Zoom in. Have a look at the enemy. There they are. Looking at the stick by there. It is quite funny though when you, you go on Ultra and it looks quite nice and then you only have to drop it down slightly and <laughs> the faces get all bonked up. It's just one of the funniest things I've seen in Total War. They look like um, gremlins. It's just absolutely awful. Let's bring the cavalry up on this flank over here. What have got left over here? Right, Royal Spartans. Have our line by here and actually bring two of these forward. And we'll use this as a choke point to attack Macedon, I think. We're just going to completely bombard the enemy. Reload. There we go. Again, pent your shots off. These units are being rushed up. My cavalry can be brought into the mix as well. Slingers are hitting them. Down to 116. So they chase us. I think these two units can both attack the Hoplites now. My militia can be brought behind the line, like so. Doing pretty well so far, I think. Where's my rest of my reinforcements? They're slowly marching up. I don't want to rush them around the battlefield. No point at the moment. I'm going to take my time and enjoy this. So, we should be doing fairly well against this unit. It's going to break. Here they go. See if we can get some of the battle animations. Get the old unit cam going. There we are. It's 
Stab, stab, stab. Kill, kill, kill. Very interesting stuff. Oh, he just took one to the fix right then. Oh, and him as well. And they're routing like cowards. Right, that's what I wanted. Time to use this choke point to its full advantage. We're going to bring them forward. I'm going to walk them forward as a matter of fact. And my skirmishers are just going to sit behind them and chill. Because that's the kind of guys they are. Now the rest of my infantry which has formed up nicely here. Can actually take two of them. Form its own group. Stingers are going to be doing damage to my horses over here. Actually, my cavalry can charge the Slingers. Should have been paying more attention there. They should take the Slingers out easily. And got two more units to go up there to reinforce. These three units are going to come here to reinforce as well. It's a beauty with... Um... Ooh, what's over here? It's not even in the city. Ah, oh, I should have been taking the capture point. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try and take the capture point with my cavalry. Get your asses up there. See if we can take it. They got a lot of mob units in the square and slingers, so I wouldn't be scared of them. Alright, let's march these men forward. Get my skirmishers attacking as well. Let's concentrate on my cavalry in a minute. We're going to be taking the square soon, I think. We're down to 21 units. 21 units. 21 members of that unit left. These two units can be brought up as well to help. We're actually taking the square at the moment, although they do have slingers nearby and they do have militia hoplites come in so Citizen not going to do well against them and I'm going to defeat what I said earlier and actually lose the unit of cavalry by charging the slingers up there and take them out one less unit to worry about hopefully we can do well now we do, we're not doing so well over in this flank at the moment they are shaking a little bit but we are getting plenty of uh, arrows flying in and there we go some of the enemy units are routed now bring my perioid guys up as well I think we'll Send them in. These two units are slowly walking up. Towards the square, there they are. It's like a big juggernaut. Marching towards the square. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bring these two units to support that flank as well. The main army now is more or less here. Bring the spear infantry up into reserve. To here. Bring the cavalry around the flank. Try to lose that unit of cavalry. I do have citizen cavalry on this flank as well. Uh, I'm actually going to take them to my right flank. May as well have two cavalry units there. Go for a nice charge on the mob and the slingers in the centre. Bring all these forward. My slingers. Aim for their slingers at the back. Oh, here we go. What have they got? They have. Hoplites running to walk forward. They look a bit tired, man, to be honest. I'm just walking my units. I should have an advantage here. You would think. Yeah, all my units are walking. They're casual, typical Spartans, just casually going about their day, killing people. It's what they do. What they were born to do, indeed. Oh, my cavalry can now go charge into these slingers. And we should take this corridor here. This choke point. I want to bring these men now, these Macedonian units, towards me. Because I can take them out here in this choke point. Two uh, units here. I'll have two just behind for support. And here we go now. Slingers, done their job. Excellent work. Bring them up. Let's attack these slingers up here. And let's bring my slingers run them over here in this position. Very high quality spears. Charge the hoppers. Get fast advance on. Bring my pike men up as well. And the fact I can start utilizing all these units now as well. Bring them all up. This is where the fun is, this is where all the action is. And my cavalry's getting a lot of kills at the moment. Oh there's pikemen up there and I have to watch out for the pikemen. Let's bring my cavalry up quick. Disengage. Don't want to lose them to pikemen. Already lost one cavalry unit. We'll just bring them out for now. No point having them in the town where they're going to be weak. Spartans! Stick some of these Get units after them. Stick these units now. Pikemen and slingers. 
they can attack the pikemen, they can attack the slingers, and these two can get into position in the square as well. I'm doing pretty well, I think. Yeah, these units. Shots on the Hoplitae, so army. These units need to get out there quickly. And these units can just go flying in to the foot companions. Have a little look at these. Here we go, look at this. Loads and loads of Spartans just flying in. Bang! Death and blood. Ooh, just, just saw somebody take one to the neck then. Not a pretty sight. And we are taking the square by the looks of things, or we will be soon. Attack the slingers, and let's just get this battle over with. Get my slingers up, get my men forward. Take out these slingers. My slingers can concentrate on their pikemen. And these Spartan units can actually disengage. Try to attack their pikemen. Whoa, what's happening here? Slingers, get out. What are you doing? Don't chase you fools. Don't charge them, you fools. What's over here? Oh, I'm being paying attention. Hop the taser over here. Right, that's not good. How many of them? 70. Cavalry back then. Let's bring the slingers back. Try and get them out of there. Do have a Spartan unit which is engaging. Big massive blob. Something I don't like with the game. A lot of blobbing going on. We await your command. General, I think you can give a little bit of an inspiration here. There we go. Where are they going? Oh, no, fools. <laughs> Militia hoplites only now getting into the battle. I'm oh, sorry, but you're late. <laughs> and we are taking the square, just gotta hold it. Just stay in phalanx. Matter of fact, this unit can be taken up. This unit can be taken around the side here. They're gonna be charged, disengaging to come back to me now, look. And I should be putting these men on steady, which I haven't been doing. I'm only one that can do it. Got a lot of pikemen here, haven't they? Didn't expect that at all. No. Keep attacking them. Right, my, my missile, I've only got two. They've actually got ammunition, that's probably why. Right, we're just... I've only got one. Ah, oh, it is two, I got right. Let's get them in. It's not looking good here in this big... Uh, Class at the moment, is it? Best thing I can do is probably bring my spear infantry up. Hop the taste, taking a lot of uh, fire here. Let's try and get around, attack the slingers. Come on. Charge. 80 odd seconds to go. Oh, but I've left the unit behind. <laughs> the unit of skirmishers have just been left behind. Poor sods. Sparta! I love Sparta. I am a bit of a fanboy of Sparta. I do love the units they have. I think I can bring my cavalry around. See if I can get a cavalry charge. Actually, we'll try and bring him around here. Cavalry charge around the rear. That'd be nice. Try and take out these foot companions quickly now. 80 against 117. We should have the advantage, you'd think. Or maybe not. Come on, get your spears out. Why haven't we got you? That's what I want. Try and take them out. They're getting beaten back, actually. 30 more seconds and we'll be fine. As long as this unit doesn't rout. General! General can attack this slingers if he can. That would be nice. Give some inspiration as well. Disrupt them. Hold the square for a few more seconds and we've won this battle, even though we're losing units over here. Not looking good, come on, get back in. Stand in there. Oh, they are fighting. Don't worry, track them with it. I think we've won this battle. There we go. End battle. Close victory. And... 241 kills there for one of my pikemen. Very, very good. Very good stuff. An honourable death for Cleo. Poor Cleo, he's dead. Step to the face, lots of blood. On the floor you go. And there's a lot of Hellenistic culture, so we'll just occupy and hope for the best. Come on. And we'll need to 
Anthenius, you loot. <laughs> there we go. Commander, We're in the city. We We've taken Flarissa. And the campaign rages on. So I hope you've enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>